everyone, it's Elizabeth, and I am here today to show you how to make these cute little sock owls. And I wish that we could have done this in person, but evidently the weather was not on our side. So I've got all my materials laid out here. So I figured the best way was just to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be following along these instructions that everyone got. Um, full disclosure, I do not sew. Um, so we're kind of going to learn together. So we're just going to take it step by step. I have the camera angled down here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing while I do it. So the first part of the instructions says that we want to thread the needle. So we're going to get that needle and thread out. And okay, I've got the end. Oh, it's knotted. Let's unknot the thread. Can you see what I'm doing? So the thread, you know, has a little knot in it. So I'm just going to undo that. Okay, so now my thread looks like this. And there's an end. So we're going to thread the needle. So. Yeah, so we just want to try to get the needle, the little hole, through, we'll get the thread through the hole. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Easier said than done. Oh, I think I might be doing it. Kind of, kind of. Okay, okay. Success. So now I am going to tie a knot so that it does not fall off. And now I have got needle and thread. I am ready to go. Okay. Number one, follow figure B to cut the wings, body, and mouth out of the sock. Okay. This is going to be harder than it seems. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we'll get to see my, my cutting skills here. All right. So, okay, the mouth is just this part, so that seems pretty simple. So I'm, I'm just gonna go for it, guys. You see, all right, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go for it, I'm going for it. Okay, it says to just cut it, I'm just cutting it. Okay. Okay, this is cut. I went for it. And it says to cut off a little bit at the end, maybe. I'm going about this picture. Okay, so let's try to do the wings at the tippy top. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna go for it, guys. <laughs> Some of you may be more skilled at cutting and sewing than me, and that's awesome, and I really hope that you send me your pictures when you're all done, because I would really like to see how these turned out for everyone. Okay, so this is my wing, and what I'm going to attempt to do is... Um, I'm going to put it like this so that I can try to copy what I did so that the wings kind of match. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay. I hope this is a good angle. I always find that when I do these craft videos, I don't end up showing what I'm doing enough. So I was like, okay, I'm going to angle this down. They're going to see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, this is kind of working. Okay, I have wings. I have two wings. Okay, and body. Okay, well, I guess we're cutting off this random little bit up top. Da, 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 da. I kind of wish that there was a stencil for this because I'm just kind of going for it. Um, okay. Cut a little hole down here. I'm sure these are gonna turn out great. If not, we are in this together. 
if even virtual. Okay. So we've cut out things. I think that all this part is garbage. So I'm putting that to the side. Everything else is here. Okay. Turn the sock inside out and sew the top of the owl with the ear shapes. Oh, that's what we were going for. Okay, cool. Yeah. So the bottom of the sock is now going to be the top with the ears. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so we're going to do it inside out. And we're going to sew the top. Okay. Doesn't seem so scary, guys. Okay, I've got my needle and thread here. Okay. You can sew a running stitch in and out pattern to tie an overhand knot when you're done sewing. Turn the sock back right on its right side in so you can see the good side. Okay, so I'm gonna go for this. <laughs> can we see what I'm doing? Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay. Like I said, I do not sew. <laughs> Um, I do not sew, so I'm hoping that this will help me improve my own sewing skills. Ah, I already have a knot. <laughs> okay. Okay. The knot is done. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I am just going to keep, yeah, I'm just going to keep going in and out. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but it said it and out, so... I'm going in and out. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of seeing the ear. A little bit. I wonder how you guys are doing. <laughs> I'm sure that some of you have far superior sewing skills. I'm excited that I will at least be able to make a cute little sock owl now, though. One of my friends is really good at sewing cute little sock stuff. And now, all of us will be, too. Okay. Ah. Okay. How do I end it? Tie an overhand knot. Okay, so I do actually want to end this with, like, a knot. So I'm going to... I'm gonna just put this through. Okay, and now it's it's knotted. It's knotted, okay? And, okay, so I, I'm, I'm gonna cut this <laughs> and do a knot on this end as well. Because we wanna make sure that it doesn't the stitch doesn't fall out on either end. Come on. Okay. And okay. I'm going to cut off the needle because we're going to need that for our next part and then we're going to turn it inside out i have little stringies <laughs> you could probably cut it and knot it closer um i'm struggling with that part so i'm just gonna put it in here because no one will see it no one will see it see once i inside out it ah look i sewed this part that's so cool so okay it, i don't know how much ears i really have eh. here we go there we go. They were hiding. Okay. Ears. I successfully have ears. Okay. Refer to figure D images and sew the wings, mouth, and felt circled button eyes. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's, let's do the wings next. So it looks like we are just going to attach the wings like so. They are not getting any stuffy part. So should be pretty straightforward. Um, let's see. 
Okay. So I think, yeah, the only, the only difficult part is that <laughs> we don't get to turn it inside out. So I hope it goes well. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie this knot right here. Again, since people are going to see this part, I'm going to tie the knot right here. And then I think I have enough thread, I hope, to, <laughs> to make it all the way down with the wings. Okay, well, I think I'm doing this right, and I think it's looking pretty nice, so maybe sewing is not as hard and time-consuming as I thought it was. Like I said, I am really interested in how this is going for all of you. I wish we could have done this together. Okay, we're getting our knot. Boom, ba -doom. And I have a wing. Oh, that looks cute. Okay, this is this is coming along really nice. Okay, so I have a knot. I'm gonna do one more knot, just to be safe. And I'm gonna cut it. Okay. And I'll cut I'll cut here a little bit more too. Okay, so like I still have like little bits, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. It, it looks fine. So now we want to thread our needle again because I've run out of thread on it. Which seems to be like one of the hardest parts, honestly. It's hard to get the cut part through that little part in the needle. Okay. Now we're going to do our knot again. Okay, now we're going to put our second wing on, and now I, I kind of feel like a pro at this, so <laughs> I am going to try to even them out about the same place where I'm starting. Okay, I don't know about you guys, I think the hardest part is determining how much thread I'm going to need for each little part and trying to figure that out because I don't want to waste any of the thread it's not like they give you too too much okay well we're almost done with these wings this is going really well guys try to make some sort of knot here and okay oh I think I dropped my little mouth there we go okay I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna cut here do a knot okay so here is where I am. I have got the base, the body, I've got my wings. It doesn't look amazing from this side, so I'm just going to look at this side. Um, things are going pretty well so far. Okay. And we want to put the mouth on. Okay. So, looks like we are just going to kind of stick this guy on right here. We shouldn't need too much. Um, now I think the only really important part is we want to make sure it doesn't go all the way through. Okay, we want to put the mouth on, you know, just one side because otherwise we won't be able to get the filling through. So, okay. Again, I'm just going to go for it. Tie my knot. I kind of think it's definitely part of this project's charm that like things are uneven and like there's thread and 
little bits of stuff. So I hope that that's encouraging to you guys. If you're not doing it perfectly, I am certainly not doing it perfectly. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. That is attached. So I'm going to cut it. Put that over there. I don't know maybe I'm missing something with sewing everyone but I don't know how people get these not so close mine are not that close okay trim the threads and I have a mouth there we go okay next Felt circle and button eyes. Okay, so here we go. That is this part. Do we do the feet or are the feet last? Uh, hold on, let me see. Okay, the feet are last, so we're gonna do the eyes now. So those are these little circular guys. So we have the eyes and then we have the button parts. So theoretically, cross our fingers, <laughs> um, this should be relatively straightforward. Um, because each one only needs one stitch, theoretically. <laughs> Okay, so once again, I'm going to thread my needle. This is really not easy. <laughs> it always gives me trouble. Okay. Sorry. My dishwasher is running. Okay, so I think we're just going to go for it, guys. We're just going to give it our best shot. So I'm going to put my buttonholes through on the needle because that seems like a good place to start this. <laughs> Here, I'm just going to take this other stuff off and I'm just going to try to poke through. Oh, this is hard. Okay, okay. I got through. I don't want to go all the way through again. Or else that will be trouble. Like we talked about, then we can't get the stuffing through. Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> I succeeded. All right. Um, kind of. Did I succeed? Now, my, okay, wait, I got the button. Okay, hold on. I think, I think I'm doing it, guys. Is this really the only way to do this? This seems difficult. Okay, okay. So now I'm gonna go through the buttons again. Ah, turn around. Okay. Yeah, that seemed really difficult to me. <laughs> okay, I have successfully made it through. I have a lot of thread. Okay, hold on, I don't even, I don't even know which way is, is what right now. Okay, there we go. I just pulled this through and I'm gonna make a knot and cut it and then we're just gonna try for the same one going the other way. Okay, make a knot. Okay, <sighs> we have one eye. It doesn't look perfect, but uh, I'll take it. Here, I'll, I'll trim it down a little more. Okay, eye number two. 
easier said than done. Okay. Great. I'm going to go for the same thing. I'm going to just get these on here. You know what? I'm going to puncture the felt ahead of time because that was actually the hardest part, puncturing this felt. And it's still hard because I don't want to hurt myself. Okay. Now I want to puncture... Yeah, it's, wow, it's really the felt that's the hard part, because I just made it through the sock, and it was like, no big deal. Okay. Again with the felt. Trying to get the felt through. Okay. I have some success. I don't think these eyes are going to be equal, but again, I think that's part of this little project's charm. It's going to be cute. Oh, come on, I'm so close. Okay, we have success. <laughs> okay, all right. So, once again, gonna make that knot. And it's gonna look as good as it's gonna look. I'm, I have to say, I'm actually really impressed at um, how this is turning out. I don't know if I had as, as high hopes. Okay. <laughs> and trim. I have two eyes. Come on, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. So, next we are going to put the stuffing in. I have slightly different stuffing than you guys because... Um, the good stuffing that came with the kit ran out so mine might look a little different um, so we're just gonna put the stuffing sorry my cat is trying to attack the stuffing um, <laughs> okay oh, sorry Put the stuffing in. You want to make sure you get it into the ears so that the ears pop out. Okay, no. Sorry, my cat really wants the stuffing. If you have cats, they might want the stuffing. Okay. Okay. Again, like I said, I, mine's a little different, so yours probably came exactly how much you needed. I kind of just had a big, big amount, so I had to figure out exactly how much stuffing to put in. I think I need a little more. Okay. That looks fine. <laughs> so now it says we're going to sew a running stitch and then sew on the feet. The feet are felt again, though. They're going to, they're going to be difficult. I'm gonna get these feet out preventatively. And I'm gonna see, all right, let's see how much thread I've got left. All right, this is all I've got. I've gotta close this and do the feet. Okay, we're almost there. So, we're gonna thread the needle. Oh, sorry. We're gonna thread the needle. Let's try the other side. Oh, nope. That other side was not great. Who knew threading the needle was the hardest part of this whole project? Um, ah! I keep messing it up, guys. We're so close. We're so close to the end. Okay. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, 
this is not going great. <laughs> uh... Okay. Oh, thank gosh, we're almost done, guys, because that did not go great. <laughs> Okay, my needle is threaded, my thread is falling apart, but I've got it. So we're just going to close it up and then it's set to add on the feet secondly. So, come on. So I'm going to make a knot, oops, sorry, I'm going to make a knot at the end. Okay, and now we should just be able to do that, that in and out um, stitch that we did before. Come on. Come on. Okay, that part is sewed. Now we just need to add these feet on. So you can probably cut and then add, but since I'm pretty low on thread, I'm just not even gonna cut it. I'm gonna just keep going in this one stitch and just do my best. <laughs> okay. Be careful, like I said, the felt is really hard to sew on. I don't want anyone to hurt themselves with the needle, including me. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting where the camera is. Okay. So close. Okay, yeah, this felt, this felt difficult. Okay, it really only needs you know, like one stitch. So don't drive yourself crazy. Just try to try to get it through. Whatever. It doesn't matter how the how it comes out looking. It's gonna look pretty cute, I think. One of my feet is shorter than the other. It's it's fine. It's fine. Okay, gonna come out. And once again, I'm going to do a knot, and then I think I am all done. Ah. Okay, double knot for good measure, and cut, and ladies and gentlemen, I have a sock owl. I think it's pretty cute. You know, oh, he has red on his face. Okay, he's not perfect, but I like him. I think he's adorable, actually. Oh, his foot is falling off. Oh no. Oh no. Why is his foot falling? Man, only mine, right? Okay, I have no idea why his foot is falling. Come on. Come on. Okay, I kind of fixed it. <laughs> He's not perfect. <laughs> I'm sure that yours look cuter. Um, I like mine though. I'm gonna put him in my office. So, please send me pictures on how yours turned out. If your feet are falling, I would like to know very much. And thanks so much for coming and doing this craft with me. 
and I hope that you enjoyed this and that this was also a learning experience for you and that you had fun making your little owl stuffies. So enjoy and have a great rest of your summer. Bye.